Now, sideline etiquette. It's great to cheer that he got hit, but we're not interested in injuring team, other players. Okay? We can hit them hard and maybe they have to leave, but we don't <coughs> want to cheer the fact that a guy got hit. Second thing is, when we're on the sideline, <coughs> I don't want you yelling at the referees. I'm going to tell you, and this is from doing high school basketball and football and all the way through since 76. Seldom does the referee change their mind. And seldom do you get them to go, after you yelling at them, to go, I'm going to help that Glendale team out. Because those guys have been yelling at me, you know, and they've been saying I'm such an asshole, and I'm just going to go out there and give them some good calls. I've never seen that happen. I've been uh, removed from basketball games for two technicals when I was really young because I didn't, I thought it was what you did, you yelled at the ref and so forth. And then I realized, this was after my first year of coaching basketball, I realized that I was an embarrassment to my players and I was no longer a role model to my players. Because I was yelling, thinking I was Bobby Knight, the great Indianapolis or Indiana coach, because he was a crazy yelling all the time. And so I emulated that. And then I realized that that was an embarrassment. And that what I needed to do is be calm <coughs> while I was coaching because I wanted my players to be calm while they were playing. I want my players to focus on the game and not on the referee. And more importantly, not on my yard. So when we're on the sideline, the best thing to do is watch what your teammates are doing. And for me, I'd be watching what the guy opposite me is doing. So I could see if that inside center is doing a sidestep or what he's doing. So when he does that, I can grease him. Or I'm going to watch what the props do to see what he's doing. So how can I beat him? So that's what I would encourage you to do on the sideline. The other part of that is I want you to be a model for young people, right? Because in rugby, rugby is about mentoring the others that are going to come after us. It's not just about you right now. It's about what your legacy is. What do you leave for others? So there'll be times where we're going to ask you to go out once we get done this COVID to go work with kids. Okay, and we want to be good models for that. And that's really an important part of what we do. Getting this contract will mean a lot because I'll be around that atmosphere of a lot of guys with that skill. And I believe that I can be a dangerous player with my attributes alone. So I just imagine myself with that skill set.